Hello. And welcome again to another Travel on the Thames. Yeah, we're nearing the end of our time on the Thames, unfortunately. This week we went from Sonning to Goring. We like mooring in Goring. <laughs> Because it's never boring. Very good. <laughs> and Julie's always snoring. In goring. We we'll ignore you. We'll cut that bit. No, we won't. So, you will have noticed we spent a bit longer than a week on the Thames. Yeah. Uh, we originally paid for a week's licence. Yeah. <clears throat> we thought that would be ample time. Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> We loved it so much, we decided we weren't going to rush it, we weren't going to just do a week on the Thames. We wanted longer, so yeah. we asked the Environment Agency if we could swap our one week's licence for a month's licence. Yes. Oh, oh moth. A little moth. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we transferred our week's licence to uh, a month's licence and then um, fully enjoyed ourselves. It gave us the... Uh, option to be able to just relax and not rush from place to place so we could spend two or three days in one place if we wanted to so yeah. but on this cruise we thought we had a week's license left yeah, yeah we didn't we had these great ideas of going up to abingdon didn't we mm -hmm. yeah and then after stopping off at bill park we realized it was running out the next day yeah we had a day was it a day or two days anyway yeah. we had <clears throat> 24, 48 hours max left and that was enough time for us to get to Goring to say that we'd been because everybody said Goring's worth a visit. Yeah. Um, only just, even if you just went there just to see George Michael's old house mm. where he died. Mm. Um, and also to get ourselves a uh, an Indian takeaway. Which oh. Mark was desperate about the whole time on the yeah. Thames. So all I could think about was a naga chicken. Anyone out there uh, who likes uh, Indian food will know that a naga chicken is the king of curries. It's the king of Indian dishes. Very spicy. Let us know in the comments down below what your favourite Indian dish is, mm. but quite frankly, you're all wrong. It's <laughs> naga chicken. According to you. According to me and anyone who counts. And we can recommend the Indian takeaway in Gorin. Yeah, I think it was called Mamoose. Uh, and it was fabulous. Really the food was nice. really good. We'll put some photographs of the curry in the <laughs> vlog just so that you can, uh, you know, wet your whistle, so to speak. <laughs> so we've just left our mooring at Sonning. We did. We are moored round the corner from Jimmy Page's house and yeah. we did pass George Clooney's house, although you Couldn't don't really see it. see it, it's just a bank of trees. But I spoke to the lock keeper and he confirmed that George Clooney does live in the house by the bridge and that when the lock keeper moved into his house in January, George Clooney came over and introduced himself as his new neighbour. <laughs> so um, and he said George Clooney is a lovely guy and he's been and seen him a couple of times but he's also met Jimmy Page as well. So for those of you who don't know who Jimmy Page is... Tut he, tut. Yeah, tut tut, you should. <laughs> Rock fans. Um, he's the lead guitarist and co-songwriter with Led Zeppelin. And he lives in the village and the lock keeper confirmed that Jimmy Page is a right nice guy. Mm -hmm. And um, very down to earth. So... That's Sonnen. That's Sonnen. Where are we heading today? Well... We've got another week left on our Thames licence and we have got the K&A just around the corner but we're not going to go down there this week are we? No, so where are we heading today? Well, Maple Durham maybe. Yeah, nice little place, if apparently it's a nice village. There. It was used in the film The Eagle Is Landed. Yeah. And it wasn't it the cover of Black Sabbath's first album? Yeah. The, the windmill. The mill yeah. was, not oh, a windmill, the mill. Sorry. The mill. to the Kennet and Avon canal. It's always quite tricky to see because you can't actually see the sign when you come in uh, upstream. And that takes you into Reading. It's not raining now, Mr Weir. It has. You got your 
your sunglasses, your cap and your waterproof on. Yeah. <laughs> we are and now and flip flops. <laughs> we are now heading into new territory. Uncharted territory. Ooh, for us Ooh. anyway. We've never been this way before. No, so be never interesting been this way to see. Before.
very unusual, isn't it? It's like someone's science project. Nan, can I build a summer house in the garden using mathematics and architecture? And then when they finish the end, you know, that's a bit ugly. They won't bother with that anymore. Oh, that's really neat. Hey? Well, it's not used, is it? A new feature for the vlog. Houses we could never afford in a million years. <laughs> but we'd still like to buy them. I think it could be all of the houses in the Thames, yeah. actually. We just well done. We're just heading into Goring Village. This is actually a lot bigger than you think. And our boat is right the way at the back there. And this is the lock. In over the bridge and what's on this side mark? Streetly. Streetly. Oh the bull, I think that used to be the old toll house. Streetly had a, a toll house because um, it had a cross section. And so Streetly in the early days I think was more important than Goring was and was more, more prosperous okay. because of the toll house. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like the video if you could give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, helps us out massively and uh, we're so close to 7,000 subscribers mm. now that we would love to hit that figure. Words. Uh, so if you're watching this through Facebook or you're watching this through your phone and you've clicked on a link and you haven't subscribed, please do so. It massively helps. Once you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon because that will let you know when we post future videos. You don't have to go searching for us. 
and it's free to do so it is indeed uh, if you have any comments please leave them in the box down below yeah. I'd especially like to know what your favorite curry is or your favorite Indian dish uh, and uh, any other questions you might have about uh, the Thames, boating, wide beams or general life afloat. Yes, and we will see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. We like mooring and goring. <laughs> <laughs> because it's never boring. Very good. And Julie's always snoring and goring.